Hi, I'm Norm Stockton. Welcome to my home studio here in Orange County, California. I am here today with the Galleon Cougar MB110, a little 100 watt powerhouse that's both super compact as well as expandable with Galleon Cougar's MBP series of powered cabinets. It's got all of the essentials as well as a couple of extra features that really up the functionality factor. So uh, good stuff, designed and manufactured in the US as usual. Uh, in the normal manner, I'd like to kind of quickly do an overview of the top panel and the rear panel, and then we'll go control by control, and you can really hear what this thing sounds like. Um, and also, as usual, please make sure to plug in some uh, earbuds or a speaker so that you can really hear what's happening with low end, because uh, phone speakers don't do a really good job <laughs> of reproducing low end. Okay, so here we go. Starting on the left side of the top panel, you've got your input jack, your input attenuator, your gain knob, contour switch, which is a bit of tone shaping. It does a mid scoop. We'll talk about that. It's a cool feature. You have GK's great four band active EQ, eighth inch stereo mini plug for the auxiliary in, very cool feature for practicing as well as the headphone jack, your power button. And then on the rear panel, you've got a DI with a pre and post EQ switch, as well as a chain out. And that's the awesome thing that allows you to plug into MBP powered enclosures from GK. And it's one of the coolest things about the MB line of combo amps because it gives you some serious expandability. We'll talk about that in a moment, okay? All right, so here we go. Always make sure you plug into that input jack. It really helps with your sound. And then you have your input attenuator. And this is basically a 10 dB pad. If you're doing your flea impression with all this bombastic slapping and you have a really high output bass, then engaging this will ensure that you're not clipping at the input stages. Um, this bass is pretty high output. I'm doing some slapping, so I've got that engaged just to make sure. But if you're doing finger style on an old P bass or something with uh, you know, passive electronics, then you probably won't ever need to engage that. Then you have your preamp gain. This is your volume knob on this amp. Then moving on, you've got your contour switch, which again is some tone shaping. It basically does a mid scoop as well as bumping the lows and the highs gives you a little bit of that smiley face EQ. If you're familiar with GK amps, you've probably seen the contour knob before. This switch is similar to turning that knob all the way up on the other models. And so check it out. It's flat right now. Disengaged. Engaged. Disengage. So yeah, it gives you that scooped out thing, which is a really cool thing to have just with a push of a button, you know? So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and leave it disengaged right now just so you have uh, an idea of what this amp sounds like flat. Moving on, you've got GK's awesome four band active EQ. And even on this little MB110, you know, this EQ goes all the way back to the 800 RB and it's a great sounding, very musical EQ. Okay, so here we go. Let's listen to the uh, highs real quick. definitely make things zingy. Or you can definitely deaden things. So. I'll go ahead and leave them flat right now. Then your high mids. Low mids. So you can either really thin it out or really beef it out. Beefy. Okay, so I'll go ahead and bring it flat for now. Then you got your low end, and I'm always trying to be careful with this so I don't blow out my overhead mic that I'm using to record the vocal. But here we go.
Okay, so I'll leave it flat for right now, but very musical. You can really do a lot of tweaking to your individual preferences. So moving on, you've got your auxiliary in, which is an 8th inch stereo mini plug. It's awesome when you're using the MB110 as a practice amp. What it allows you to do is plug in your laptop or your phone or your drum machine, and you can practice along. And it works hand in hand with that headphone jack right next to it. So when you plug in your headphones, then it disengages the internal speaker. And so you can practice late at night without killing your neighbors. Pretty awesome stuff. Then you've got your power button, and even the power button on GK amps are well designed and, and cool. You, know, you see that LED around it, and when you first turn the amp on, that LED will be red. And then once it's fired up and ready to go, then it'll turn blue. If you're ever in a venue with dirty power, it'll turn red again and let you know that you're getting dirty power. And as soon as that power issue is resolved, it'll turn blue. So very cool. Moving on to the rear panel, you've got GK's great sounding DI, as well as a pre and post EQ selector, which is awesome when you want to do something EQ-wise when the amp is sitting next to you on stage that maybe isn't optimal for the front of house person, then it allows you to do whatever EQ settings you want here and still send a flat signal to the board. But otherwise, um, if you also want to send the board the same settings you're using here, then just send it uh, post EQ, okay? Good feature. Then you have the chain out. And that again is what you use to plug into the MBP powered cabinets from GK. Any discussion of the MB combos really requires a quick mention of the MBPs because they have so much to do with the functionality and flexibility of these MB combos. Check it out. This chain out jack, if you plug an XLR cable from here into the chain in of an MBP powered cabinet, then all EQ and volume settings from the MB110 are conveyed to that MBP cabinet or cabinets. Um, you can drive up to three of those MBP cabinets uh, from one MB combo. This MB110 has a 100 watt amp that's allocated just to the speaker in this box, the 10 inch speaker. Those MBPs have their own power amps that are allocated just to the speakers in those boxes. What's awesome is that you no longer need to cart around this massive rig when all you really need is said massive rig occasionally when that loud drummer or the wall of guitars is there. If the MB110 is adequate for most of your stuff, whether it's acoustic or you know rehearsing in your bedroom or whatever, and again, with 100 watts into a tenant speaker, I mean, this is certainly not lacking juice, but if you need some supplementation, then you can have the MBPs waiting in the wings for those occasions when you need it. And again, you can plug in up to three MBP powered extension cabinets from one MB combo. So you can mix and match. There's the 112 MBP or 115 MBP, which are both 200 watt amps, or there's the 212 MBP or 410 MBP, which are both 500 watt amps with Neo speakers. Pretty killer stuff. Uh, there are separate video clips of each of the MBP power cabinets, so you can go check those out. But definitely worth mentioning because uh, you know, this MB110, you may think, well, that's not going to be cutting it for all of those really loud things that I do. You know, Well, in those occasions, then just go ahead and have MBPs there and save your back the rest of the time. You know, Awesome stuff. This MB110 is 20 pounds, crazy portable, but with GK tone features, value, expandability, uh, definitely go to a GK dealer and check them out. I always encourage people not to just take my word for it. I guarantee though, you're gonna agree, it's killer stuff. But in addition, you can also go to galleon.com for further information. But this is the MB110 combo amp from Galleon Kruger. Go check it out. God bless you, I'm Norm Stockton, and I hope to see you on the road.